So I got my bulkhead. Did I get all of the the airlines, electrical lines in the last video? Okay. So I got bulkhead. Make sure it's not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted, secure. I have front amber colored clearance lights and marker lights. Make sure that they're not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted, secure, clean, and free debris. And they have to have be, be amber in color. Now, on the trailer side, I want to make sure that I have 50% DOT reflective tape. As we can see, this one doesn't have 50% DOT reflective tape. I want to make sure that the trailer is not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted, secured, no holes, all the rivets are in place. And then when we come back, I have my landing gear. I want to make sure my landing gear is in the raised position and it's not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted, and secured. I also want to make sure that my, um, my crank handle is in the stowed position. All right? Off that, I have another blinker slash four-way. Make sure it's amber in color, not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secure. Clean and free of debris and moisture. Then I'm gonna come back here. And I have my torsion bars. Make sure my torsion bars are not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secure. I have front and rear spring mounts. I'm gonna make sure that they're not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted, secured. Shock up, I mean, a leaf springs. Make sure that they're not scissoring, not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted, and secured. My U boats are not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted, and secured. We don't have airbags or shock absorbers, so that does it for suspension. Now I'm gonna go into my brakes. I'm gonna start at the top because I have an air tank up top. Make sure that my air tank is not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted, and secured, and it has no audible leaks. Then I have my brake hoses. Make sure that they have no abrasions, bulges, cuts, properly mounted and secured, no audible leaks. I have my brake chambers and clamps. I'm gonna make sure that they're not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secured with no audible leaks. Then I have my slack adjuster and push rods. I'm gonna make sure that they're not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secured, and have no more than one inch of play when I tug on it. And that takes me to my brake linings, our brake pads, same thing. I'm gonna make sure that three things. They don't have any signs of heat stress, no fluid on them, and not worn dangerously thin, less than a quarter of an inch, and not be bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secure. Brake drum, two things, no fluid on them, no heat stress, not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secure. Inner rim, no illegal welds, not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secure. Then I'm going to come out and talk about the side walls of my tires. The side walls of my tires, I'm going to make sure that they have no abrasions, bulges, cuts, properly mounted and secured, no audible leaks. The tops of my tires, now these could be recapped, but I wanna make sure that they have no abrasions, bulges, cuts, properly mounted, secure, worn evenly with a minimum of two thirty seconds of an inch of tread depth, no audible leaks. Then I have dual rims. Now these don't have bus spacers, so they should sit flush against each other with no daylight in between and not be bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secure. I also wanna make sure that I don't have any debris or dead animals inside of my dual rims, all right? In a Outer rim, no illegal welds, no rust trails, not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secured. My valve stem and cap, no braze, uh, not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secured with no audible leaks. I use a tire pressure gauge to check and make sure that my tires are in are properly. Then I have my lug nuts. I'm gonna make sure my lug nuts are all tight, no metal shavings, no shiny thread. Make sure they're all present, more importantly. And not be bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secured. Then I have my hub seal. Make sure it has no visible leaks. It's filled to operating range. I can check it either one of two ways. Look through the sight glass or pop the top off. Make sure it's not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted, secure, no visible leaks. Then I'm gonna come back here. Now, we're missing a very important light. Reflective light. An ABS light, analog braking system light. It should be amber in color and not be bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted, and secure, and be clean and free of debris and moisture. Now we do have our rear red marker light. I mean, it's not been broken or cracked, properly mounted, secure, clean and free of debris and moisture. All right, we're gonna come around to the back, okay? The door hinges are the outsides of them. Make sure it's not been broken or cracked, properly mounted and secure. This should have 100% DOT reflective tape, right? I wanna make sure that my handles are in the locked and stowed position and not be, I mean, a locked position, not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secure. I have my brake lights, tail lights, blinker lights. Make sure that they're not bent, broken, or cracked, properly mounted and secure, clean and free of debris and moisture. We're missing license our plate. rear license plate. It should be clean and free of debris 
and not be bent broken or cracked properly man and secure with the white light so you can see it at night then i have my rear bumper my rear bumper should not be bent broken or cracked properly man and secure and should not be more than 24 inches from the surface all right then we got our clearance lights up top we got to make sure that they're red in color now bent broken or cracked properly mounted secure clean and free of debris and moisture and that's the whole truck, Miss Carol.